There are tons of different kinds of cycling clothing out there. Cycling jersey is cut, styled, and tailored for a cycling type activity, so it's not baggy in your way or chafing. The main features of a cycling jersey, in addition to being breathable, have a wicking type fabric, and perhaps one of the most uh, trademark differences between standard shirts are the three po two to three pockets that are in the back of the jersey. This is where you want to store your keys, your cell phone, your spare tube, even some extra gloves or something in case your ride happens to get wet or cold. Whether you get a blank or printed jersey, or even a jersey that has a team logo on it of any sort, you want to try to ride in something that is comfortable for you as well as functional. We all know that Chicago weather can be pretty unpredictable, so it's a good idea to have at least one of these items in your cycling wardrobe as well. Something like this, a clear rain jacket, doesn't actually make you very hot. It's a very lightweight uh, item that protects you pretty well from the elements, the wind and the rain. Because it is so lightweight, it actually folds up and stuffs into just one of those back pockets by itself. So you can start on a cold and misty ride and end up on a very nice ride without being too terribly hot. The same is true with the vest, which is obviously a jacket without the sleeves. This is a very functional piece, protects you from the wind while also leaving plenty of ventilation in the back. This garment is ideal for those of you that head out on early morning rides when it might be chilly when you leave, but warms up during your ride. This vest as well stuffs into just one of those pockets in the back of your jersey. We also have many different styles of cycling shorts. Cycling shorts come in different lengths, different cuts, as well as different types of pads on the inside. The two main different styles that, that are out there, and we, of which we carry both, is a standard short, which comes to the waist, just like a swim trunk, and a bib short, which has no elastic in the waist and actually comes over your shoulders almost like suspenders. Uh, as strange as these may look, they're actually incredibly comfortable. Whether you go with a bib short or a standard short, it is important to talk with your bike shop professional about the kind of riding that you're doing as well as the length of time you may be doing that riding. The pad inside of a bike short, they have come so far in the past several years. It is no longer just a really thick piece of cotton. They're contoured, the seams are in places where they won't bother you, as well as being breathable, and many of them are actually antimicrobial so that your shorts will last you for years as opposed to just months. We also carry baggy shorts, which actually have um, a padded short liner on the inside, but these serve for those who may not want to either wear spandex, they also cater very well to a mountain bike type community. We have everything from a very basic entry-level short up to elite riding shorts. So come on in, talk with a bunch of bike professionals about the kind of riding that you're doing, and we'll get you set up with something that it works just for you.